What kind of ancient lunatic decides to just walk out of Africa two million years ago? With no GPS, no plan, and definitely no snacks. Meet Homo erectus, humanity's great-great-grand thrill-seeking ancestor. Unlike his shy cousins who stuck close to the trees and familiar dirt, this upright adventurer said, let's go find something dangerous. He didn't just walk, he marched across continents. From the burning savannas of East Africa to the chilly steppes of Eurasia, even reaching places like Indonesia, where things get suspiciously island-wide. Some scientists think he even crossed open water. How? No one really knows. Maybe logs tied together. Maybe swimming. Or maybe, just maybe, he was the world's first minimalist sailor. And yes, some archaeologists still argue about that. Now don't confuse Homo erectus with his cousin Homo ergaster, who lived around the same time but stayed mostly in Africa. Erectus was like the wild older sibling who backpacked across Asia before it was cool. Ergaster? More of a homebody. Erectus built better tools, stone hand axes so symmetrical they'd make a modern minimalist weep. And his body? Built like a prehistoric Olympian. Tall, muscular, efficient at long-distance walking. He wasn't sprinting from danger, he just walked danger to exhaustion. He may have also done something absolutely revolutionary, controlled fire. Imagine the power shift. Suddenly, nights weren't scary anymore. Roasted meat, warmth, safety. Though scientists still debate whether Erectus discovered fire or just borrowed it from natural wildfires. The moment he kept that flame burning, everything changed. And the creatures he shared his world with? Not exactly cuddly. Picture this. A thundering stegodon. An elephant with a smaller brain but way bigger tusks. Charges through a forest. In the grass, a homotherium. The saber-toothed cat with a terrible temper and even worse eyesight prowls. And yet, Erectus didn't just survive, he thrived. Possibly in small groups, sharing meat, fire, and the occasional confused look at the moon. But despite all his achievements, Homo Erectus remains a mystery. He lived longer than any other human species, over 1.5 million years. That's about 7,500 Kardashians worth of lifespans. Then he vanished. No clear extinction event, no grand finale. Did he evolve into us? Did he go extinct quietly while binge-watching volcanoes erupt? Or was he outcompete by his flashy descendants like Homo heidelbergensis and, eventually, Homo sapiens? One quirky theory suggests he wasn't wiped out at all, but absorbed into future species. In other words, he's still walking among us. Maybe in you. Maybe in that guy jogging shirtless in 40-degree heat. Total homo erectus move. And remember that debate about him building boats? Some believe he reached the Indonesian island of Flores before Homo sapiens were even a spark in evolution's eye. Which raises one very strange question. Did Homo erectus invent island hopping before coconuts did? To this day, scientists can't agree on how much erectus knew, what languages, if any. He grunted in, or if he ever looked up at the stars and wondered what's out there. But one thing's for sure, he wasn't just another primitive. He was the first bold dreamer. The first to say, this place? Too familiar. Let's go where the predators are meaner. So next time you're feeling brave or just lost without Wi-Fi, remember, your ancient cousin walked halfway across the world without a map, in sandals made of nothing, surrounded by animals that thought he looked delicious. Now that's bold. And maybe, just maybe, that boldness is still somewhere deep inside us. Subscribe for more untold prehistoric stories. And don't worry, we promise not to throw you to the saber-toothed cats.